Good morning one and all. Welcome to the class of Construction Technology CE204. This paper appears in the fourth semester of B.Tech Civil Engineering and it carries a credit of 4 and is very important for your university examination. We were discussing about the major topics in module 6. As far as module 6 is considered, it is very important. Questions carrying 20 marks is asked from module 6. We have been discussing about the failure, building failures, the various types of failures and the various causes. In the last class, we discussed the failure in RCC structures. Today, we are going to discuss the failure in steel structures. Myself, Chaitra S., Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, SNIT, Adur. Moving on to the introduction and the questions. By the end of this session, we will understand what do you mean by failure in steel structure and what are the different causes of failure in steel structure. So, as we have seen in the last class, steel structures are gaining importance as a construction material in addition to the reinforcement that we use in concrete structures. Structures constructed solely on steel are gaining their importance in our society as well as the entire world. So, it is very relevant and important to study regarding the failure and the causes and how it can be prevented. As we are engineers, engineers turn the dreams into reality. So, it is our important consideration to know about the failures also. Moving on to our topic, what is steel failure or why is it necessary to learn or understand about the failure of steel structures? Steel construction is gaining importance across the world. So, its construction and failure should be taken care of. So, while connecting the steel members and while it is being applied upon by the loads, it needs to be done carefully and the load estimation should be carried out effectively based upon the design codes. You can see a bridge which is being failed under the effect of load. This is a failure due to the faulty design. Thus, steel failures need to be prevented. Moving on to the various causes of steel failures. Failure due to faulty connection. Steel is usually, usually connected by rivets or it, or it is being welded. Failure due to compression. Failure due to tension. Fluctural failure. Failure of beams. Fatigue. Corrosion. And fire or heat. These are the common causes of failures of the steel structures. Failure due to faulty connection, failure due to compression, failure in tension, fluctural failure, failure of beams, fatigue, corrosion, fire and heat. All these eight causes are very important. Usually for exams, this question is asked for eight marks. Moving on to the first type of failure, that is the first cause, it is failure due to faulty connection. As we have discussed earlier, rivets, bolts or welded joints when subjected to impact loading tend to loosen the connection with time. This includes slip finally leading to the distortion of the structure. Failure can occur if structural engineer underestimates the design force, that is a design error. This is an example of failure due to faulty connection. So, the rivets and bolts when subjected to impact loading tend to loosen the connection with progress of time. This may include slip leading to distortion of structure. Moving on to the next type, failure due to compression. As we are 
familiar with the compression and tension from your mechanics of solids classes structures that we see around us are subjected to compression tension or shear the various kinds of forces steel structures when subjected to compression what will happen to them let's see applied loads causes compressive stresses in steel members beams and columns subjected to high compressive stresses experience buckling now the term buckling you are familiar with the term buckling in the context of columns you need to revise that from your mos classes what do you mean by a buckling of column or buckling of b here we can see the image of buckling next is failure in tension as we said in the previous slide compression tension shear etc are the various kind of stresses that act upon any concrete load bearing structure and what happens to a steel structure when it is under tension when steel members are stretched to a level that exceeds its ultimate capacity it leads to failure of steel members the stages of failure include yielding necking and finally failure you might remember the mild steel test in your material testing lab you can see yielding necking and the failure in the portion of the neck possibility of this failure is usually rare moving on to the next uh, type of cause leading to the failure of steel members that is flexural failure it occurs when beams fail in bending it usually occurs when lateral loads on the beam increases beyond its limit next is failure of beams beams fail when flexural loading causes a high overstress or when the beam buckles flexural loadings create tension and compression forces in a beam next type is fatigue failure fatigue is the failure that occurs in members subjected to pulsating or cyclic loading fatigue failure usually happens in the presence of inherent flows in the material such as holes notches etc the result that is formed in struts as a result of this holes and notches are that it leads to stress concentration stress concentration is not serious under static load if the member is ductile but when it comes to cyclic loading stress concentration leads to minor cracks this cracks when propagated leads to the ultimate failure or collapse of the structure this process of formation of crack under cyclic stress is known as fatigue fatigue is an important cause of failure of steel structures moving on to the next type corrosion corrosion as we discussed in rcc also corrosion is an important cause of failure in steel structures steel structures when expo exposed to moisture forms hydrated iron we usually call it by the name rust if rust preventing measures are not taken steel will gradually deteriorate in strength that is about the corrosion next is the influence of fire or heat high temperature deteriorate the strength leading to collapse usually the coefficient of thermal expansion relates to this under high temperature steel has greater probability to deteriorate limiting temperature depends upon the temperature profile and the load that is about the fire and heat you can see the picture of corrosion here if the members are corroded it may lead to deterioration and here you can see the fire damage so in this session we discussed about 
what do you mean by steel failure and the various causes of steel failures steel structures may fail due to faulty connection it may fail due to compression it may fail due to tension there may be fluxure failure it may fail due to corrosion or fire and heat and fluxural loading and beam failure thus there are a number of causes leading to the failure of steel structures the previous year university questions include enumerate the causes of failure in steel structures it was asked for 8 marks so you need to write any 8 causes and enumerate them uh, you can write examples to get full credits thank you for listening to the session